Welcome to YWAM Tyler's audio podcast. Thanks for tuning in, and we hope this episode will be fun, interesting, and also beneficial for you. Every episode of this podcast will be different with teachings, interviews, and devotionals. It's about missions, it's about people, and it's about the heart of God. This is an exciting time in which we live, and God is active all over the globe. Youth of the Mission has been partnering with God for the last 50 plus years. YWAMTyler.org. That's the place to go if you want to find out more about us and how you can get involved with God's dreams for His world. Thanks again for tuning in, but let's not wait any longer and dive right into today's episode. Welcome, no. everybody, to the bi-weekly YOM Tyler audio podcast. My name is Joshua Sinke. I work full-time here in Youth with a Mission, uh, working in our mobilization department, helping to promote this ministry and get the word out and talking in churches and all that kind of fun stuff. This morning, we have a couple of really esteemed gentlemen I'm very glad to have with us. Uh, Nate Bolivian. Say hi, Nate. Hello. And uh, John Allegretto. Hello there. And uh, today we wanted to talk a little bit about uh, DTS, what is involved in a DTS, what goes on, what God does in your life in a DTS. Um, but I'm, So I'm just going to be asking these guys a few questions, and, and hopefully they'll give our listeners a better picture of everything that goes on. So, um, so Nate, I'm going to start with you. All right. How long have you been in YWAM? Well, I did my DTS in 2006. And uh, then I did three other schools, uh, three schools total. And then in 2009, I started on staff. Okay. And John, what about you? Elaine and I, my wife and I, have been um, serving in YWAM for, I think we're going on 31 years now, which means DTS was about 1982. Okay, great, great. And so why, why did you join YWAM? Why did you come to do a DTS? For me, um, what I knew at the time about YWAM and about this program called DTS, um, the thing that drew me was uh, an opportunity to um, just learn a little bit more about what it means to relate to God, to know who He is, to learn about His character, um, to learn about um, the future, perhaps, what God might have for me uh, by way of serving, uh, whether that would be in some kind of ministry setting or or back home or or whatever. Um, I have an older sibling in, in YWAM at the time, and um, I just think through his influence and um, my parents' influence and my questions uh, about life, I thought DTS was, a, was an opportunity. Oh, cool, cool. And Nate, what about you? Well, for me, it was out of purely selfish motives. My uh, my <laughs> girlfriend at the time, I was a senior, um, and uh, my girlfriend at the time heard about YWAM, and uh, I knew about YWAM as well. My mom and dad used to be YWAM missionaries, and so I, I grew up in that atmosphere. But my girlfriend at the time heard about it, and uh, she said, hey, let's go and do a DTS at YWAM Tyler. And so I thought, well, okay, if she's going to be there, then hey, it can't be that bad. I won't have to suffer too bad if she's there. So I ended up going mo- ma- mainly because of her, but um, but also there was that sense of, you know, I didn't really know what I wanted to do after high school, but I did want to just, I felt like I was to give the first fruits of my of my life to, to God and um, let him, you know, show me what was next after that. But it was totally unexpected what God did next in my life through DTS. Hmm. That's awesome. You know, here at at YWAM we have uh, a variety of different ministry focuses that we that we participate in, and and everybody that works full time uh, is kind of work you know works in a certain area around this ministry. Would you guys just kind of explain, you know, do you work full time with this program, or do you have other responsibilities? Uh, what exactly is your role here in this ministry, John? Yeah, I do work with the overall training department, which would include the DTS. Um, I work with school leaders uh, to to help 
just the day-to-day, the daily running of, of the overall department. Okay, great, great. Nate, what about yourself? Yeah, also I work with the training department. Um, a little bit more hands-on, you know, I work with the discipleship training school and then also with the school of evangelism. And uh, that can vary, uh, you know, what it looks like from week to week. You know, it can look like, you know, picking up trash, um, you know, sometime or, you know, other times, you know, serving logistically, doing paperwork, work, making coffee. We also, um, you know, have a responsibility to, to help disciple the students who are in, in the schools. Uh, we're each assigned, um, you know, three or four students that were directly over to disciple and uh, just be pastorally over. And so we have that responsibility. And then there's also the responsibility of leading outreaches and coordinating those, which are, you know, two months um, you know, from out of the school. So, so that it can be, you know, like I said, from picking up trash to going to different countries and leading outreaches. So it's quite exciting. You get a wide variety of, of different things that you, you do, you know, you're responsible to do. I think I should add too, I do carry uh, an international responsibility with Youth of the Mission. Um, we have a, a team of people, an international team, uh, leadership team that kind of serves the whole DTS program worldwide and uh, the world being broken down into regions um, we have a what we call regional coordinator for the DTS program over each region of the world and uh, I'm fortunate to serve in that role in that capacity uh, over the Mexico and Central America region and uh, so this this opportunity takes me to those bases in that part of the world to uh, just further um, strengthening the DTS program um, in the region as well as the individuals working with the program. So, um, so yeah, so you need opportunities. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. So you're mm-hmm. you're very heavily involved in the DTS program as a whole. As a whole, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so John, this question, this next question is for you. What would you say if you could just in a few sentences? How could you describe what exactly takes place in a DTS to so the person that's never heard about it? They're coming in for the first time. What what kind of thing would they? Well, the DTS is a five-month training program, discipleship-oriented, that we have broken down into two phases. The first phase, being 12 weeks or three months, is what we call the lecture phase. The second phase is also another eight to 12-week length of time. We call it the outreach phase or the practicum of the DTS, where where you're taking what you learn in the first 12 weeks and putting those principles into practice on the field in some location. But as far as the DTS too, some of the, the, the content or the, the purpose uh, behind what we do in the DTS, we want people to really come together to learn how to, to number one, worship together, uh, to be a community of worshipers, to learn how to listen to and obey God. We want to just strengthen those, those qualities in one's life. We want them to learn to serve through acts of evangelism and intercession and and uh, acts of compassion, what we call mercy ministries, and and other expressions of God's heart for the world. Um, We want them to also cultivate um, their own relationship with God through the process of the DTS, building that Christ-like character and um, having that solid biblical foundation. We want uh, a DTS student also to learn how to um, relate to people, not only people in their own culture, but um, outside of their own culture, you know, across borders and, and different backgrounds. And we want to equip them, too, through the DTS program to the purposes of God, to serve the calling that God places uh, in their life in the end. That's great. And so, Nate, this this next uh, question is for you. And in, in your, well, I'd like both of you to answer, but in your DTS, Nate, was there, you know, one teaching topic, you know, because as John mentioned, we have the three months beforehand mm-hmm. of our lecture phase. Was there one teaching topic that made a huge impact in your life that you came away and said, wow, I had no idea about that, about the Lord, or, you mm-hmm. know, something that just made a profound impact in your life? Absolutely. It's it's really hard because there's so many good teachings in DTS. It's really hard to narrow it down. But if I do look back on DTS and my D- DTS experience I'd say the biggest, um, the biggest teaching that had the, the greatest impact on me was the a teaching called the broken heart of God, and uh, the whole focus on that is just 
telling us how our actions and our sin, how it breaks the heart of God. And uh, for me, that was so impactful because I had been a, a Christian for so many years, and I, you know, I knew how to how to say the right things. I knew how to look really good in front of people, but uh, but inside I was completely empty. And in many ways, uh, like Peter, who you know, when when it when it counted, you know, I denied Christ time and time again. And uh, when I heard this heard this teaching of of how what what Jesus went you know, the extremes Jesus went through on the cross and what, he, what the, the punishment that he went through on my behalf and how it was my sin that put him there and it was my sin uh, that broke his heart and ultimately killed him. That completely, that revelation, you know, that I've never, I never had that revelation before. When I, when I received that revelation of what Jesus did on the cross, um, it totally broke me. And mm-hmm. I remember, I, I, I don't think I've ever cried this hard in my life, <laughs> but I, I remember just crying and this is in the classroom with all all these other people but I didn't care and I was just crying and I remember being on the floor I had tears all over the place not all over the place but uh but I had that revelation you know how okay God I am tired of being like Peter and denying you and Lord I want to bring joy to your heart and so that night my the whole point of my life shifted from you know trying to make you know live for myself to saying God I want to bring joy to your heart. And so that was, from then on, that was like my, the outlook of my life. God, I'm going to bring you joy. Wow. And that completely changed my life. Wow, that's incredible. And John, what about yourself? I think um, the thing I've been thinking about, not so much a specific topic, but one of the elements that I think is a strength mm-hmm. in uh, the DTS program is what we call the live-learn environment. Mm-hmm. The environment we try to create in the whole throughout the five month uh, process not only are we learning in the classroom in a lecture style setting but we get to take those principles and as soon as we step outside the classroom put them to practice put them to work in a community setting that we're living in a campus slash community uh, setting where we're rubbing Mm -hmm. shoulders alongside other people who are learning the same things that we are Mm -hmm. and those who you know might be a little bit uh, further along in their walk with the Lord, uh, who will help us and and hold us accountable to those principles, and um, and so I think for me, looking back to my own DTS, that is something that I look back to as a very positive uh, thing, and I think it's a strength in our DTSs um, in general mm-hmm. that this live learn environment where we can practice. You know, we can learn so much in the classroom. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's good. That's a strength. That's a good thing. But uh, as soon as we have the opportunity to put those principles into our practical day-to-day uh, living and the things that we do, whether it's our work uh, or even our entertainment, um, the environment we try to create is one of accountability where we can um, further those things, mm. further develop those yeah. those principles in our lives. So it's a real strength. That's awesome. Uh, you know, so we talked about lecture phase, you know, kind of what goes on in those first three months, but also you mentioned earlier, one of the most important parts of this is the outreach. And, and so if you guys, where did you guys go on your outreaches for your DTS? Well, my DTS outreach uh, was to the, into the Caribbean, okay. uh, specifically Jamaica. And uh, so we spent our six, seven weeks working alongside local churches on that island. Great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nate, what about yourself? Sounds fun, John. Um, I went to South Africa, so which was a really, really awesome outreach. Yeah. And and why would you say, um, Nate, why would you say, what, what is so important about the outreach? You know, coming out of the th- first three months, what is so crucial about the, the second part of that? Well, I think it's it's crucial in one sense that, you know, it forces you to apply the things that you're you're learning you know all you just spent you know three three months in in the lecture phase and learning all this awesome stuff and uh it, it's one of those things where it's so good the content is so good that you can't just keep it in you know you need to go share it and um so i think it's one of those things where yeah sharing what you've what you've learned applying what you've learned but in an amazing sense also learning to depend on the holy spirit mm-hmm. to to help you and 
because it, on yeah. outreach, many times you're in a, an environment that's unfamiliar, mm-hmm. uncomfortable. You know, let's say you're in a completely different culture. Mm-hmm. Maybe the temperature is, you know, 110 <laughs> degrees. You have flies, you know, and biting <laughs> you. Uh, and then you're trying to minister to this, you know, prostitute in the brothels. Which these and, are very uh, real situations. <laughs> which these are very real. And uh, maybe you're, you know, you've been sick. Uh, for two weeks, and so you're you're way out of your comfort zone, and uh, in this situation, you know you have to, you know you can't you you can't depend on yourself anymore, and so it's in this situation where you're in complete, in complete surrender, have to depend on the Holy Spirit, and mm-hmm. it's amazing what the Holy Spirit does when you're in that uncomfortable state and you completely surrender, and so um, I love that element that that students you know they have to persevere and they have to depend on the Holy Spirit and. You know, in those times, that's when we, we get the best revelation, but also we people come back and they share amazing stories of what God did in their weakness. Yeah, yeah. it really is a, a time where the rubber meets the road. Yeah, you know, coming out absolutely. of the three months, all this incredible input and knowledge that God's given you. Hmm. And here you go. You're out and you're, you're reaching out to the lost. So. Yeah, you know, if I could just add to that, I totally agree uh, with Nate, but. The other thing, too, at least for me, I thinking back, my DTS outreach was, you know, my introduction to the world, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. I had never been outside the U.S. prior mm-hmm. to my DTS outreach. I had never seen, uh, you know, poverty like I mm-hmm. saw or, mm-hmm. or other conditions that I wasn't used to, like Nate said, outside of my comfort zone mm-hmm. or what I was used to, how I was raised and such. Um it was my real introduction to the world and to missions and uh, the opportunity that uh, I had helped me to define my calling, hmm. but, but yeah. really simply just fall in love right. with missions. Yeah. Well, th- this has all been really great. Thank you guys so much for your time. I just, and this is for either one of you, if you, either one of you wants to answer this, but if you were talking to somebody right now, you know, on top of everything that you've already shared, is there something that you would say, you know, somebody that's never heard, this is why I think you need to do a DTS, you know, just in closing? I think a DTS is good for anybody, uh, regardless of your stage of life, your age. Um, um, if you just have a few months to take to, to relax and, and uh, to learn and to grow in depth of relationship with God and such, uh, then the DTS is an awesome opportunity uh, for a lot of that to happen. And... Um, So I would encourage, sure, anyone. Absolutely. And I think it's one of those things, too. You know, if you really want to experience God on a whole new level, and uh, and if you're just tired of the the same old, same old, you know, mundane, you know, routine, and, you know, you're just wanting something new, you know, I think DTS presents an awesome opportunity for you to really get to know God, experience Him, and, of course, you know, find your your purpose um, within the the Great Commission. And... um, yeah, I think it's it's amazing. It, it, it presents a great opportunity too for you to grow, um, not only spiritually, but gives you practical tools and understanding of how to reach the world. And uh, I think it's great because it's not only a thing that's um, to to help you focus on on foreign on foreign missions, but also you know how do you affect your own society when you go back home? You know how are you going to be different? How are you going to bring those principles? Um, and, and affect your, even your hometown or your home city. And uh, I love that aspect of DTS, that it's not just, um, you know, something that you learn and it was great, good memory, take a few pictures and put it on the wall. But, uh, you know, it's a lifestyle change. Hmm. And, uh, you know, so I think if you're looking for a lifestyle change, um, you're looking for something different, tired of the, the mundane and ordinary, you know, come and do, come and do a DTS and, uh, you know, experience a fulfilled life of, of no regrets. Hmm. Amen. Amen. Well, awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for, for coming out and sharing just from your heart and uh, a little bit from your experience. I really appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for joining us today. Uh, this w- is the conclusion of our, of our podcast this time. Remember, if you guys want more information, you can go to www.ywamtyler.org. And uh, if you're interested in doing the DTS, we do have one that's coming up in June. We'll be starting the end of June. I think the 30th is the date for that. 
Um, and uh, you can fill out your application online and uh, always inquire about getting more information, as well as following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at YWAM Tyler for all three of those. So again, www.ywamtyler.org. Thanks, you guys, again, for, for joining us. And Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks. We'll uh, see you guys later. Thank you.